Hi everyone, I have the May Cuticula subscription box to open with you. So it's a monthly subscription box that is, it has themes, but the polishes themselves are mysteries. And here is the box. I really enjoy the packaging and I just have my nails prepped because like the last couple um, cuticula box videos I'm going to be swatching on my fingernails. I think that worked out really well. So here's the box with the, the iridescent bow. Ooh, there's a green one. Do my best to take out all the packaging sounds. This is Light Dragon. I wonder if it's a fantasy a fantasy theme this month for this month for May. Let's see. Oh, Jemmy might want to help the video. Oh wow, bright red. So we got a kind of a subdued silvery green and a bright red. Oh, maybe this is a book series or a show. Dinrolls scales. I'll need to look that up. These are very pretty. So let's start out with the light dragon. Yeah, there's a lot of gold shimmer in this. Okay, that is the first coat. So we'll wait a couple minutes for it to dry and then we'll put on another coat. So this is the second coat. I can definitely see visible nail line, especially under my ring light, but I have a feeling that in um, natural light or just slightly lower light, it would be so shimmery you wouldn't notice the visible nail line if that bothers you. Or you could always use a blurring base coat or like kind of matchy undies. I'm going to also swatch this over a black, a black swatch stick just to see what it looks like. I'm going to put this in a third coat, even though I will probably just wear it like this in two coats. Um, but I do tend to put on really thin coats. And we'll just see how it builds up. So this is the third coat. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing visible nail line. Maybe I am a little bit on my screen, but again, I'm like right under a ring light. Okay, now let's watch out Dinroll Scales. This also has a lot of gold shimmer in it. 
and different size particles or flakies. So the first layer you get kind of a like a berry sort of a red kind of jelly base. Do a second coat of the red. Yeah, this is another one that I think I would wear probably in two coats. I actually don't think I'm seeing any vis visible nail line right now. So I think I'm going to just leave it at two coats. This is a very bright, warm toned, fiery red. I thought it's would be fun since I have um, quite a few cuticulas, especially subscription box cuticulas, um, at this point to do a little bit of comparison. But I think first I will try Light Dragon over a black swatch stick. I don't think I would necessarily wear this as a topper, but it's just interesting to see the different colors kind of come out sometimes. Yeah, that gold like really pops over the black. Yeah, here's the gold. So if you want a gold topper over a very dark color, you could definitely use it that way. But I will probably wear it on its own. Or maybe put a dark color under one or two nails as like an accent. That might be kind of fun. Okay, so I decided to compare Light Dragon to Falcor, which was from the February box, and Raindrops on Roses, which was from the April box. Um, I think they're all different enough to keep, especially these two, which in the bottle, they look more similar than they do on the swatch wheel, in my opinion. So luck, Light Dragon, not Luck Dragon, Light Dragon has a really strong gold shimmer. And Falcor is mostly the silvery with like just kind of a hint of like a bluish green. And then Raindrops and Roses is this kind of bluish silver and then it has all these kind of iridescent um, flakies, like mini flakies. So even though they're kind of similar in color, they have very different, um, I guess, textures or visual textures. Okay, and I've decided to compare Dinroll Scales to Love Me, Love Me Not from the January subscription box and Butter Together which I almost didn't compare because I think that they're the bases are more different, but I wanted to have I wanted to have a couple to compare it to. So here is some more cat fur. So here is Dinral Scales. Oops, and it's actually not showing up color accurate on my screen so I'm gonna try it but it's quite a bit different than love me love me not in person um but it's definitely a different um visual texture love me love me not 
is more of a hot pink, almost fuchsia-ish red. And then it has these pink and purple and a few gold um, mini flakies. Um, Dinroll Scales also has some scattered hollow. And Butter Together is more of kind of a burgundy or a wine red with like really prominent um, gold flakies and gold shimmer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really like this subscription box and I'm planning to continue getting it for a while. Um, you can also join the Cuticula Facebook group for more information about, well, about the brand in general, but there is quite a bit about the subscription box. Um, quite a bit of discussion about subscription boxes that go on. I just haven't been very active on Facebook recently. But the maker's name is Amanda and um, she's always responds to the group. Um, and she she takes um, customer con customer opinion into consideration quite a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.